Hello friends, this is Adam with Booby Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K edition of Christopher Nolan's The Prestige. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I will put a link for that in the description. All right, the Prestige on 4K. I'm going to talk about the picture quality and audio of the disc in just a moment, but let me first talk about the movie itself. Uh, I think out of all of Christopher Nolan's movies so far, I would say that the Prestige is probably in my top three. Uh, it's really good. It really is pretty awesome. Uh, it's all about the atmosphere. It's all about like the performances of Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. And it's really just a phenomenal story. And it really get, gets you kind of behind what Christopher Nolan can do as a filmmaker. I know like he's, you know, done like Memento and there's other films that came before this one. But I think for some reason, this one also just really resonates with me. It just sticks with me. I go back to it constantly and I was very happy that when it did get announced for 4K back when, but it was really just, it's just one of those movies that you have to watch. It's just got a such a great story, great performances, and it's just visually probably one of his better films, I would say. It really, I would I'd probably tie this between this and Inception, Interstellar would be like a three-way tie. But I, for some reason, The Prestige just, it's more, more of a human story, more of a, just a, an overall great tale. And you definitely should check that one out if you haven't had a chance. I uh, highly recommend it. So, all right, let's talk about the picture quality and the audio in just a moment. But first, let's do a quick unboxing of the slipcover. Okay, we have Christopher Nolan's The Prestige here on 4K, slipcover edition. It's the front cover and the back with all the pertinent information and the spine. And the interior. And then some nice disc artwork on both the Blu-ray and the 4K. So, that's it for the unboxing. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. The Prestige is native 4K on disc, so it was rendered that way. And it also supports HDR10. Now, Christopher Nolan as a filmmaker also very much appreciates the home cinema experience. So he had input on how this, uh, how this looked visually on the format. And... Honestly, it's really a gorgeous looking presentation overall. Um, just the, the 4K resolution is a nice bump up in and of itself, but that added HDR element really just brings the whole thing together. Uh, everything from, you know, as far as the color palette goes, just, you know, the, the overall drabness of some of the interior scenes it just is rendered really nicely. And just the, the, the countryside also looks great, you know, when uh, Jack Green travels to America. And, and just the, the lightning scene, you know, from, from his uh, trick is also really, I mean, just that, that lightning pops right off the screen. It looks fantastic. It is beautifully rendered. And it just really, that HDR really makes it just pop up. Really, it just really looks fantastic here. Um, as far as black levels go, go real, I didn't really have any issues with any elevation. Uh, there are dimly lit scenes that look great. They look natural. Uh, but the darker scenes, the nighttime scenes, look, look really well done. And they're beautifully rendered here. Nice inky black levels. Uh, level of detail is also phenomenal here. Costuming, skin textures, just the overall aesthetic looks great. It really does. It is absolutely wonderful to look at. It is a beautifully rendered picture all, all over. It's very clean and it's just, it looks great. And it just is an overall wonderful experience here on 4K as far as picture quality. Equally impressive is the DTS 5.1. Now, if anybody knows anything about Christopher Nolan films, he tends to lean towards more of a 5.1 audio experience. He doesn't really go into the Atmos or 7.1. 5.1 is really his standard here. But you get a lot of mileage just squeezed out of that 5.1 and it, everything just sounds wonderful here. It's really an overall full, you know, just room filling kind of experience. Now, uh, dialogue comes through the center channel 
great, sounds fantastic. Uh, the fronts really have a lot going on. Just the, the overall experience, the energy is really just beautifully rendered here in audio form. And your rear speakers, there, this is a very atmospheric soundtrack. There's a lot going on. Uh, just, just the, even just the, the, during the audience scenes, you could hear a little, you know, just coughing or something in the background. And then just the overall, just immersive elements th scattered throughout the film really sounds great. And the, and when any real action kicks in, it really does kick in. And just the electrical scene, once again, is just one of those, it's, fills a room it really does and also the lfe is incredibly utilized wonderful wonderful bass it sounds just overall like it pulls you in awesome experience here i'm really pleased with you know musical cues dialogue you know action it's you know even the quieter moments they really sound great it's an overall wonderful audio mix and it's just very impressive to listen to here on the 5.1 now as far as the overall scores go i'm going to go ahead and give the picture quality a solid a i think it's very very well utilized hdr uh it's just it brings out the, those those elements uh, that are particularly beneficial to hdr it does so very nicely and it's a beautiful looking picture as far as the audio mix goes, I'm going to give that one also a solid A. Uh, Christopher Nolan knows, you know, how to how to utilize th those 5.1s effectively, and it's done so here well. It's really done great. Um, everything benefits. Everything from the center channel, the rears, the LFE. It, it just absolutely is a, a great audio experience and just one of those better Christopher Nolan mixes that we come to expect from his uh, home uh, releases. So that is my review of The Prestige on 4K. Let me know in the comments below. If you have this one, let me know what you thought of it. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.